Good morning, my name is Sam, and today we're going to talk about Valentine's Day's love bugs and our book for February. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with our book for February. If you watched last week's video, the book talk about Cemetery Boys, we had three different choices. This, um, unfortunately guys, you didn't pick one of the books, so I had to be, be the one to pick it. I chose Dear Martin for a couple of reasons. I feel like it would be great for Black History Month. It will be um, very relevant to the times now. Well, it's just kind of goes along with what's happening in the world. Well, it's a short read. It was like 210 pages, something like that. 210 pages. Is There's overall 10 books in the consortium in physical books. So if you are, you need a large print book, we have a large print version. And, and then... We have audiobooks, and we have uh, physical books, and we do have them on our digital library, both audio and in just book format. And so we're going to be reading Dear Martin, and that will be at the end of the month. The last Wednesday of the month is when we do book talks, and we'll also be doing a craft this time with it, just to kind of go along with Black History Month and the book that we have picked out. All right, so hopefully you guys will read it with me. And if not, you'll get to see all about it on the book talk at the end of the month. So today we have these love bugs here. I have several different bugs. And there's even more bugs if, things, if you want to make your own. We will have kits out in the front if you want to pick one. Or even two up for you and your valentines to do together. And I thought, well, I'm we construct this bug here. He looks very muscly. Out. This one? Yeah, look at his arms. The strong bug. <laughs> I don't know which type of beetle he is. Ick beetle. The ick beetle. The ick beetle. The ick. Just because you don't like it? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the ones with the pincers. Yeah. Susan doesn't like these ones, but this one's probably my favorite. And there is more tame ones. There's a bumblebee. I do have a dragonfly. And then Ooh. I have... Uh, an even bigger beetle or if these all just look a little too much you can do our little love bug and he's got a little heart for wings he's cute. just really cute and he's 3d so maybe if you want to make a 3d gift for your valentines or make them together with your valentines you could choose one of these these several bugs all right and it does come with a template this isn't the same bug. this is our other beetle You'll get this template in about four different colored pieces of paper. These won't be written on there, but it tells you which part goes to where on the base. And you'll cut this out, and then you'll cut it out with different colored pieces of paper. And then you'll get this kind of mess. And I promise it's not a mess if you keep the parts together. So see, this would go on the bottom. Now I have a glue stick. I'll just start constructing it. And while I do this, I'm going to talk about the different stories of Valentine's Day and kind of how it originated because it's not something that everyone knows. I definitely didn't know it until I started researching it. Um, so there's three different stories to it. That, um, we'll start off with kind of how it's got its name, which is from the person St. Valentine's. Now there, from my research, there was probably three different St. Valentines, or a va Valentinus, kind of a U, U, S instead of E at the end. Um, and they don't know which Valentine or Valentinus did which story, but the first one was his, um, in ancient Roman times, and they would not let young men get married because they wanted them to be soldiers and not husbands or fathers. Or so, well, they banned marriage altogether. And so, St. Valentine was secretly doing weddings for these young people. Huh. Uh, eventually, he did get caught. And unfortunately, he was executed for, for his crime. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of along the lines of love and marriage and kind of just spending time together. And if you don't like that one, we do have other ones that don't quite involve that. The second one with St. Valentine um, is that he was in prison and he was helping people escape prison. Um, and 
he was helping the Christians escape the, like, excruciating Roman prison, it's kind of, with, like, specified aid, um, and he was in love with the guard, or the jailer's daughter, and so he was helping all these people escape, and he was in love with the daughter, and he ended up giving the first Valentine's, kind of like a card, a letter, and signed it, from your Valentine's, so that's kind of where that started, or at least if you believe that version of it, or maybe you believe all the versions of it. And the third one doesn't quite involve St. Valentine, it's actually a pagan holiday, he, and they would perform a ritual, well, getting ready for spring, and getting ready for the crops, and they would perform it for the crops and the women of the town. And then it kind of involves them slapping goat hide on them. It was kind of <laughs> interesting to read, a little weird. Um, but they were very happy to because it means they were blessed. And, and if they got goat hide slapped on them, yeah, because it was blessed for the new spring and, okay. and kind of like maybe that's babies. why my crop didn't do too well last year. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Somebody's gonna have to slap me with goat hide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if someone slaps you with goat hide this Valentine's, just know that it's probably <laughs> nicer than it seemed. And so they would do that, and then they would, all the young ladies that weren't married, so like, I would go put my name in this urn, and I would don't know if it was like the end of the day or after everyone put their names in it, all the young men would go pick a lady's name out of the urn that's been blessed, and then it usually resulted in a marriage. So, but you had to be slapped with a goat hide before you could put your name in the urn. More than likely, because you were blessed. It did. I don't think that was technically a requirement. I'm not going to let go of this goat hide. No. <laughs> so if if you get slapped with a goat hide, please remember it is a nice thing. <laughs> It means very nice things. Yes, and your crop will do well this year. Yes, but you have to slap it on both the lady and the crops. I guess the dirt or where the crops oh, will grow. Oh, okay. Not necessarily like hit your flowers or sure. hit your vegetables. I gotta find a goat first. Yeah, if you have goats, let Susan know. Or just a piece of goat hide. Yeah, just a piece. <laughs> That's all we need. But those are kind of like the three stories of Valentine's Day that I could find. I mean, two involving St. Valentine's himself, and then just kind of a pagan inversion of it, which I thought was interesting that there's both. But it was around the same time of year for all of them. And it all has to do something with kind of love or marriage. So, just remember, Valentine's does not mean marriage. It does not mean boyfriend and girlfriend. And here, during this time, you can... And have your best friends. You can have Galentine's Day. That's what me and my friends do. We, we do it. Oh. All of us girls will celebrate our friendship. And we make gifts for each other and do things like that. See, I was thinking gallon, like a gallon of chocolate. I can get them a gallon of chocolate. If you have Galentine's Day, <laughs> slap your Invite us. And goat hide. And then give them a gallon of chocolate. <laughs> but it, if you already have a Valentine's thing, or you want to do this with your friends, your family, you, just someone you celebrate love with and someone you love dearly, you can make these love bugs. And so the final one of this one will look exactly like this, just a little constructed, just different colors. And there are different packets that will have different colored sheets of paper, the template, and just kind of written on there how to do it. So hopefully you guys will make love bugs. Invite us to your goat hide Galentine's Day with gallon chocolates. I really would love to participate. Yeah. And I will see you next week. All right. Goodbye.